Hey everyone, this is Carla, and I would like to thank everyone for liking my photo uh, for my receiving the DC Department of Employment Services Hard Work and Dedication Award. So here it is, it's right here. I'm very happy for everyone, you know, liking it because honestly, I didn't even know I was receiving the award. I didn't know that the training officer nominated me, but I'm very happy to receive it. I'm very happy for all the encouragement and congratulations because I worked extremely hard for this. As you know, I was talking about receiving my my uh, training. So last summer, I went through the DC uh, government to receive my IDO. For those who don't know, IDO stands for IT Infrastructure Library. It is service management certification and I received the foundation. DC government gives people a block grant. So you have X amount of money. I didn't use up all the money. So I went back and I asked my training officer, I asked him, could I have a second training? He said that that never happened, but I went to an event. I heard about another you know, training and certification that I wanted because I wanted to work in that arena. And I went back, it was, it was like two in the morning but I wrote this justification for why I should receive the training. And I received it. Now it took some time for me to, to get it, but I did receive it. And what I do in this video for is don't quit. Don't just rely on what people say, you know, ask, keep persisting. And the reason why I ask is because I'm I'm no smarter than anybody. Unlike everyone who usually just settled for one training course, I just asked. I knew that if you received a, a certain amount of money, no matter what anyone else said or his or her experience, it is the fact that the money was still out there. The worst that they could say was no. I went out there and asked and I got a yes. And I understand why people will stop. And that's the reason why I harped on I'm no different than anyone else. But the simple fact of this, if you're sitting in front of someone, they're the professional, you're going to them. So you do give deference to someone saying, okay, well, he or she knows more than I know. They are the professional. But I also understood that there was still some money left over. And so I just went out and asked, and I asked in a way that you have to frame it. You have to frame your ask. So when you ask for anything, not just exclusively training, if you ask for, like in my case, I asked for training, but you ask for anything, have a plan and have a coherent ask. So what is a coherent ask? A coherent ask is a plan, you know, bullet points or some paragraphs stating why you should receive something. So it's like a proposal. But just have like your bullet points down on why you should receive it and also what's in it for them. So, you know, why should they give you the money? How would it make them look? Obviously, in my case, you know, for training, it looks very well when you complete your training and you implement your training. So, you know, just have a coherent ask of anything. And it also gives you some talking points. So if they say, oh, you know, I don't know, we're looking at it. You can just take your talking points that you have, your bullet points, and just continue to harp on them, continue to point them out and say why this is a win-win for both me and you. And in my situation, that's what I did. And I'm very happy to get the award. Here it is once again. But I'm very happy to receive, you know, the award. Turn around. Here we go. <laughs> because it was a lot of hard work and dedication. I'm also very happy for all the people, as I mentioned before, who watch, uh, who watched like my videos, but also like my photo from the event yesterday. It means a lot to me and I'm very appreciative for all of the love and all of the support that I received. So I would like to thank everyone for watching video. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to receive my hard work and dedication award and i'll see everyone in the next live stream video goodbye